hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becky Sechere I hope you had a good week so today I'm going to be talking about very exciting information did you know that if you're a non-nurse and you're overseas or wherever and you want to become a nurse in the UK you can actually study MSc nursing and become a nurse but you need to have a degree I'm going to be talking about that also, if you're a nurse, whether you're here in the UK or you're in your own country and you have a diploma in nursing and you want to top up to have a degree, um, I'm also going to talk about how you can do a top up degree. One of my viewers asked me a while ago to do a video on how you can do um, some other courses to advance your career and whether if you've gone ahead to do your MSc it would give you more career opportunities or advancement so I'm going to be talking about that so uh, let's dive into the real video and you need to watch to the end Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Sech. I hope you're doing well. Um, because I've done my notes and I'm going to be looking on my notes, I had to wear my glasses, so bear with me. I prefer to talk without my glasses on, but I have no choice anyway. So let's start. I'm going to start with um, top-up degree. So let's say you are an overseas nurse working in the UK or you are in your home country, you've got a diploma and you want to uh, top up to have a degree how would you go about it there are a lot of universities in the UK that um, actually offer top up degree courses BSc honours courses for nurses so one of those universities is University of Derby so they have what we call nursing studies BSc honours so it is um, for full time it is one to two years now it is on you can do it online um, you can actually do this as part of a CPD which is continuing professional development course so online part-time one to two years let's talk about the fee so the UK fee oh actually I think I can see a bit with other glasses the UK fee is about five thousand and forty pounds um, an international fee is actually the same because it's online so uh, that is fine and this course is undergraduate level and it normally starts um, where do we see it's G January September May so there is variety of starting times so this is something you can look into if you've got a diploma and you want to top up to have a degree you can do that another one is here um, and this is Coventry University actually this is for overseas nurses wanting to top up their diploma to degree it's this one is one year full-time um, and you should have a diploma in nursing from your home country and actually you should practice you should have practiced nurse, nursing or you should have some experience before come doing it um, now you need to have IELTS 6.5 overall the fees this one is expensive so it's 15,000 per year it normally starts in January um, career prospect actually with this one it says that you can actually so this one is face to face it's not online um, so career prospect for this one you may be eligible for a visa so when you come and do that one year uh, topping up your diploma um, into a degree in the UK that is Coventry University when you finish after um, the one year course you can actually um, go through the NMC you can apply for the NMC registration and then when you complete all of that you can actually find a job post graduate or post education um, visa which you can work for two years after that or you can go back to your home country if you want to um, so that opportunity is there so this one 
is also a top-up degree, as I said, overseas nurses who want to come and study in the UK nursing and you want to top up your diploma to degree, uh, you can do this. As I said, it's one year full time. It is expensive. It's 15,000 for the year. And actually, you need to bear in mind some universities actually do give bursaries or scholarships not full scholarships but part scholarships so you can think about that and paying your fees as well some universities actually have flexible means of paying the fees and as a student you can work i think about 20 hours and you never know you can manage to self-fund if that is what you want another one is wolverhampton university as well um, they have international nursing studies this is also a top up it's full time one year. Um, potential career path is that you may wish to work in the UK as a nurse um, after your completion. So um, you would need to do the NMC test of competence and all that when you finish your one year top up degree in the University of Wolverhampton by doing international nursing studies. Um, so as I said, so international uh, student full time for this one is twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty per annum. Um, if you're doing it part time, which would be two years, I believe, that is six thousand four hundred and seventy five per year. So for the two years, you end up paying the same, which is over twelve thousand pounds. The requirement you should be a qualified nurse in your home country. You should have at least one year experience as a nurse in your home country. You should have IELTS 6.5 in all elements. Um, that is if you're coming from a country where English is not your first language. Um, and then there are other um, requirements. I'm going to be putting all the um, links of these universities in the description so have a look at that as i said as well again payment of these fees uh, could be done some universities can actually arrange for you to pay in installment and some of the universities you can actually apply for some scholarships and if you're lucky you could get a scholarship and you would be fine now let's talk about the MSc. So MSc nursing with NMC registration. So you can actually apply to come and study. So one of them is University of Buckinghamshire um, and we have MSc adult nursing with NMC registration. It is full time. So the N MSc courses um, are usually two years. Um, now you need to have a uh, first second class upper which is two one in any subject let me say this again second class upper in any subject two one or two two um, so subjects relevant uh, subjects that are relevant to this uh, course we have you can have you would have done sociology psychology physiology biochemistry health studies or social work. So if you've done all these courses and you think, mm, I actually want to pursue nursing, you can actually apply to do MSc nursing. And then after you've completed the two years, you would have the UK NMC registration to practice as a nurse in the UK. Um, I'm just looking for how much this one cost I haven't got it, but there are a lot of other requirements. You need evidence of 500 hours of clinical practice. Um, you would be required to write reflective essay. Um, you should have had about five GCSEs at level C or so. There are a few things that you would need to have a read at. I would put all these in the description. So remember to look at the description. University of Derby, once again, is doing the um, MSc nursing with NMC registration. The fees for University of Derby, so that course as well, so is two years. The fee for 
um, UK students or home students is 9,250 per annum or for the first for the year international students unfortunately is a bit expensive 14,700 per year they normally start in September so the next intake would be September 2022 if you go on each of these universities web page you would find a lot of information and the rest of the requirements so with this one as well University of Derby you need uh, two two so second class um, and 2.2 honors degree or above um, and you should have had grade C in English science and all that in your GCSE you should have experience you know in you should have got a few hours of work experience i would say there are a lot of additional requirements as i said they also do have check for international student scholarships as well if there is any you might be lucky when you complete this msc in nursing with registration you end up becoming a registered nurse through nmc um, uk nmc um, another one is MSc Nursing Pre-Registration Mental Health. So if mental health is your um, option, that also is available. You can look into that. The fees for home students is 9,250. International students is 14,900. There are other requirements. And also in... King's College London, they have a Florence Nightingale School of Nursing and in case you are an oncology nurse, you are um, any specialty you want to top up and do something like uh, short courses to have CPD hours or continuing professional development hours, you can do those as well. So the short courses normally um, they range from 450, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and so forth. So you can have a look at that as well. And uh, King's College London also does do MSc nursing with um, registration with the NMC. They, some of the universities refer to it as pre-registration MSc. So to recap, if you're a nurse from overseas, or you're in the UK and you have a diploma and you're thinking about topping up to have a degree because now nursing in the UK is a degree course, it's no longer a diploma. So if you want to top up to get a degree, you can go through some of the universities. They do online top up degree courses, which you can do. Um, if you're someone who is overseas and you want to consider working in the UK as a nurse, but you haven't got a nursing degree, Yes, if you've already got a degree in sociology, uh, sciences, biomedical sciences, biochemistry and the rest of social work, psychology, and you want to become a nurse in the UK, you can actually apply to do the MSc nursing with NMC registration or pre-registration MSc nursing. If you search for that, you can find that it's a two-year course. There are requirements which you have to look at on each university's website. Some of them will still require you to do IELTS, but they require about six, um, especially if English is not your language, you're the first language in your country. You would need to still do some, um, what do we call it, uh, IELTS but that is an option now finally um one of my viewers asked me whether if you have msc it guarantees you uh, to have a senior role now that's a good question i will say if you have msc before coming to uk when you register as a nurse you are starting as a newly qualified nurse so your salary would be the same as band five you're not going to be put at band six or band seven unfortunately however as you gain experience it would open doors for you because as time goes on, if you want to apply for a senior post, some of the senior positions require people to have MSc. 
There are others who haven't got MSc, but they are managers and they are well, matrons. Some are able to get these jobs because of their several years of experience rather than the educational level or qualification, um, like having MSc or so. So it doesn't guarantee you to have a senior post when you complete it. It starts you as any other newly qualified nurse if you're coming from overseas. However, in the future, if you want to apply for a senior role, it would help you. If you want to go into research, you want to go into academia to become a lecturer, um, then yes, you can one day after your MSc, you work, you get experience, you could consider doing your PhD in a different field or something else. So there are a lot of different choices for you if that is what you want. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, just leave it in a comment. Remember to subscribe. Don't forget about that before you go away. Um, but I hope this is helpful. Share with your friends and um, I'll see you again next weekend. Take care of yourselves. I know the season of Christmas is almost here. So do take care of yourselves and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Take care.